Okay, hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today's somewhat of a sample video of the uh, TCL 30XC. Now, shout out to uh, TCL for sending me this phone, uh, and this is gonna kind of be more of a, a vlog, I guess, a vlog type style video. Um, so, you know, again, shout out for TCL to, uh, for sending this out. Uh, I am shooting right now with the uh, front facing camera. And I am doing this all handheld, so uh, you know I'm not using a tripod or anything like that. There's no external mic, so whatever you guys are hearing uh, is what is coming out of the camera. So uh, just to kind of give you guys some clarification on uh, you know the specs of this device, uh, you know the front-facing camera is an eight-megapixel camera, and the rear is a 13. Uh, right now, I it should be shooting in 1080p. Uh, from the front camera though. So again, right now I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm in my car. I'm in my truck actually. I'm in a Target parking lot. Uh, it's Monday, March twenty first, twenty twenty two. So for those of you who want to, you know, know what date it is, I guess, or how important that is. So, so just you know, kind of a heads up on the device, right? And again, I'm using this device to film this, and I'm going to edit this and upload it. So that's why you're not seeing the device in my hand, right? Well, you know, personally, anyways. Um, so anywho. Uh, school's letting out right now, so there's a little bit of traffic right now, but I, I plan to go to Target right now and walk around. It's my day off. Uh, I just uploaded a video on a vacuum cleaner, which, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to watch that, but shout out to the people that sent me that. Uh, but for the most part, I've had this phone for a week, and I've been playing around with it. And one thing that I can kind of give you guys feedback on is is the battery life. It has a 4,500 uh, 4, milliamp battery, and I left... I charged it once and I left it on for five days with you know a little bit of minimal use here and there and I can tell you right now that the standby time on this phone is really good uh, considering it has a MediaTek processor uh, again it lasted five days and I'll go ahead and see if I can post up that screenshot up there uh, so that you guys can see that uh, which was maybe about an hour and a half on of on screen time with five days of standby life which is pretty good in my opinion um, you know I do want to get uh, some rear camera footage on here Again, I don't know how stable this footage will be. I, I, once I get out of Target, I will probably go to a parking lot and, you know, film my truck and just kind of see if I can get close-ups of, you know, my vehicle, whatever. You know, again, I, I will see. It's been a windy day, so you're going to hear a lot of wind. And then I might go um, later on this evening uh, to a park to film my cousin, so we'll see. And again, you know, I'm trying to, you know, you can tap to focus, you know what I mean? So, you know, it is washing out the background a little bit uh, because, you know, it's really sunny, not not very cloudy if I tap to you know focus just on me uh, you might see that uh, you know my face might turn a little bit of a different color so how's everyone doing shout out to Latrell shout out to um, you know Gene shout out to CV shout out to Magic Tech everybody that watches my videos let's get a quick shot of the rear view really quick all right so again I'm still in my car filming being a creeper here in the Target parking lot uh, let's try to zoom in uh, so for the most part, the most you can zoom in is a forex zoom. Uh, this is the rear facing camera. It is a 13 megapixel camera. And again, it, like I told you guys, I'm here at Target. I parked towards the end, but I'm going to probably move my truck right now. Uh, that's the forex zoom. That is the one x 1.8x zoom. So you know when you are zooming in, cool part is you know you can, you know, it gives you that little area on screen that you can zoom in. Uh, crabby part about you know this device considering it's a two hundred dollar phone right there's no four K shooting, um, so you know I can't shoot this uh, in four K unfortunately. Ten eighty p at thirty frames per second is the highest resolution you're gonna get. Uh, it does have EIS though, which is you know uh, some image stabilization when you're filming. I don't know how good that uh, is. We'll find out once I edit. You know I am. Ha holding this on my hand so we'll see if there's any like you know feedback or shaking on this uh for the most part though you know again i will do a walk around on my truck i'm gonna go ahead and walk in target maybe i'll get a little bit of footage in target you know hopefully i don't get in trouble you can get in trouble for filming inside of target by the way um check out this audi over here by the way uh very nice i don't know this these two cars have been talking to each other for a while now not to be a creeper volvo and audi though so you know they're doing some business hopefully um but anywho guys let, uh, you know let's I'm going to get it down. I'm going to go in Target and, you know, we'll see what's up. I'm definitely thinking about getting something like this for the channel, guys. So let me know if you guys would want to see something like an electric scooter.
for those of you guys who are into um, anime, which I am. Looks like we've got a million over here from My Hero Academia. All the cool Pokemon and Nintendo merch here at Target. What the heck is this? <laughs> I think that's Kirby. Sleeping Kirby. Yeah. Plenty of uh, Xbox One S's, no X's, unfortunately. Shout out to Latrell, who always seems to manage to get his hands on the good stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah. Looks like we got some pretty cool uh, microphones that Target is starting to sell now. Like, you would see this more along at Best Buy. I haven't been to Best Buy in a while, but um, it looks like they have a Blue Yeti on sale for 99 So, you know, if you guys are interested... Go out to your local Target. I like this one though because I think it like has LEDs in the background, so it, it looks pretty cool. Brand by Hyper, and of course all your gaming PC needs. No Nintendo Switch OLEDs, just the OG, but they were here last week, so uh, I know that they've been restocking on those. And for those of you have who have uh, seen my other videos, um, I bought this charging pack. It was a little bit cheaper on Amazon. I think I paid like 12 bucks on Amazon, but uh, it's holding up pretty cool. Uh, you know, I get maybe about like four, you know, good days on uh, a charge when I'm playing on, you know, on a regular basis. So just, just so you know, these little charging kits, they do hold up. All right, just so we can get a closer view of... The laptop prices are pretty high here, honestly. Four sixty nine, five thirty nine. Considering the specs over here, five forty nine uh, on this black one. But again, like Windows operating system, Windows ten. I guess the fact that it has two hundred fifty six gigabyte SSD. I feel like laptops were cheaper when they just had regular optical drives. Um, here, let's see if we can zoom in here. That's one X, two X. And then 4x. But yeah, I've been considering getting a Chromebook. Um, again, all the prices on these. Oh my gosh, what happened to 100 to 150 dollar Chromebooks? These are kind of pricey. The only thing I like about these is the is the kind of like the build quality. I guess it looks like a little mini Mac, little MacBook Pro over here. But like literally the cheapest one that I see over here is this Acer brand one, two forty nine. Let me know if you guys want to see me uh, do an unboxing of a Chromebook on the channel. Check this ancient piece out. <laughs> For those of you who still burn DVDs or movies, you know, get you can get yourself a ultra slim D DVD writer for twenty five bucks. That's actually a good steal. And of course, you still have some uh, some more merch over here. I actually unboxed that over there honestly oop, i dropped that a cool laptop bag which i don't have a laptop right now but i plan to maybe get one soon looks like they got a samsung galaxy tab 10.4 inch pretty cool look at that Price is not that bad. Well, actually, no, that's the Kindle price. It doesn't have a price here, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure it's not as it's not that cheap. It's not 129, but you have your Amazon Fire tablets. Who knows if people buy Amazon tablets still? Do people still buy these? I remember I unboxed one of these and it just wasn't good. I know it has like a skin of like Android, but it's not really very usable. I guess it's these are made for like people that are not wanting to, you know, customize or anything. They're more simplified. All right, again, we got some cool electric scooters. And again, let me know if you guys want to see me maybe do an unboxing of one. I think I know which one I want to get. Um, not sold here in Target, but for the most part, like with gas prices so high, I can see a lot of people buying these nowadays, especially when they don't commute very far to work. Found a mirror. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Thank you.
get some of those fake plants for the channel if you know what i mean guys for the thumbnail shout out to ian's tech over here by the way get some detail some more detail on this plant right here even though it's fake it smells good though all right so i have already out of target already it's my car got some little pizza hut pizzas that they sell in there and my car just so you guys can kind of get a glimpse of how the uh, i guess the eis works you know it'll be definitely a windy day so hopefully the camera uh, the audio quality doesn't sound super bad uh but yeah i mean i hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of uh, target not really tour but you know i've never really done like a little vlog style video like that uh inside uh, of a store so i was kind of trying to keep my voice down and for those of you guys who wanted to see what i got right it was uh some pizza hut i did get some some pasta as well it's like a i guess like a little chicken pasta there and then i bought a little bit of popcorn also uh, i almost dropped everything right now when i got into my car <laughs> so that's why i didn't that's why i had to stop the video all of a sudden but hey guys thanks again for continuing to watch and support the channel again this is mike from bt B tech reviews here uh B tech studios i will return someday hopefully maybe maybe not right um but for the most part you go Again, I thank you guys for watching the channel. A lot of you who have supported me throughout the years, always appreciate it. Again, shout out to TCL for sending the device out for, to me. Again, I do have service on this, so I might do, uh, I guess, decide to do a live stream on this just to see how the T-Mobile service works on this. Speeds are pretty good. I'll give, I'll give it that. You know, I'm, I've gotten at least 100 meg download on on several speed tests, but I would like to see how it would hold up during a live stream. And again, hopefully you guys are enjoying the, you know, the, the mini vlog here. Let me know if you guys want to see some more stuff like this. It's not something I normally do. You guys know I usually will go out and shoot in, you know, a different type of setting. But, you know, I, I'm trying to get more comfortable in filming stuff like this. Uh, you know, again, let me know how this 8 megapixel uh, front-facing camera is holding up. We'll see how it goes again. You know, let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm not going to uh, make any edits as far as, like, stabilization or anything like that goes. So what you see for me filming in the stores what you're going to get and same thing here so again guys mike from b tech review signing off thanks again for watching we'll see y'all next time and just because i promised some uh crispy b-roll of my truck not really b-roll but um shout out to my dad for washing it earlier uh, we're having some issues on my shocks by the way which i've replaced twice already um but for those of you who are uh following my toyota tech channel which i don't really post on that often uh this is my uh 2002 third gen uh, 4Runner and I've had it for a couple years already it's just, uh, getting close to hitting 3,000 miles um, and I, we, you know we replaced the tires last year uh, these tires have been holding up I need to get them rotated soon uh, they're the Goodyear Wrangler uh, Trailhawk Trailmark I'm sorry Trailmark tires um, and again this truck has almost 300,000 miles it's a little bit of rust in the, in the bottom uh, well, a couple weeks back though, we did have to replace uh, the rear struts. Let me see if I can get down here. Uh, just because uh, one of the things popped down here. Anywho, um, and I ended up having to buy new struts, and the new struts that I purchased are not going to very well. Consider this their favorite uh, Bora. I like it. I like the styling of it. Uh, this is pretty much like the TRD Pro before the TRD uh, Pro came out. Th that sticker I threw on there, that was me. I put that on the decals. Uh, you know, I got some stickers going on, obviously. No really big modifications to this truck. It, it's got a stock lift. I haven't done anything to it. You know, the tires are stock tires as well. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but again, it's a nice looking truck. Very nice looking truck. So again, guys, shout out to you guys to continue to follow and support the channel. Again, this is Mike from B Tech Review signing off. Thanks again.